conference, obviously, pretty exciting. Um, what have you done in the offseason to get ready for this? Personal one? Um, I've tried to add a little bit of bulk. I've bulked up about 15 pounds, and then I've worked on uh, ball handling, my ability to come off ball screens and make reads off of those. So those are two areas that I've been trying to improve over the offseason. And you can't see Madison Square Garden. Where is the number one, it's number two, if it was, place that you want to go? There's, there's a few of them. I mean, there's, there's a lot of cool cities in this new conference. That's something I'm excited to is the road trip. So, I mean, all the cool cities we go to, D.C., uh, Boston, New York. So just all the different cities are going to be awesome to go play in different environments. Have you seen any change in tempo or hold on philosophy during practice since you've been in the new conference? Do you think that the tempo that you guys carry will I think it'll transition pretty well. Play really fast up and down the court, and I don't think we're going to have to change much. We'll be physical on box outs, obviously, playing against more athletic guys, so that's probably the biggest difference. It seems like you guys are going to be quick again with a little bit more emphasis on some outside game. Do you see your role changing at all as a year Not a whole lot. I'm going to be expected to come in the game and uh, be in the right spots defensively, and then maybe. Uh, the difference this year as opposed to last year is, like I mentioned, coming off ball screens and being able to make a few more decisions as opposed to just strictly shooting it. So that's a difference. As the year goes on, do you think there's any one thing that you're really going to think about, about? I'm not sure. I mean, March Madness was awesome. That was, a, that was one of the best times of the year, but we'll see how the new conference tournament goes. I'm sure it'll be up there. <laughs> so I'm not